Alright, welcome back to the Black Arts Tool Demoing Series. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a tool called GitRob. And what GitRob is, is it will find sensitive information that developers have accidentally posted to GitHub. Uh, for example, sometimes you might have real passwords in your uh, clipboard when you're demoing a tool. Also, like an API token. Um, or even like Bitcoin uh, wallet mnemonics they use to recover your Bitcoin wallet. So that's what Git, GitRob will search for things like that. And if we type it in right off the bat, it says we need an access token to use from GitHub. So I'll go to uh, GitHub and show you how to find that. So in the top right, you click on settings once you click your user uh, picture and then in the in the left it will be at the bottom developer settings scroll down click that then on the left click on personal access tokens and you can click on classic and that should get the job done um, generate new token I already have a token but this is the this is the link to the site where you generate tokens so I've already got one, but let's go back to get robbed. Um, so if I type in get robbed dash GitHub access token, and then I paste my token there. Oh, another thing about your token. Um, make sure you copy it and paste it to somewhere where it won't be deleted, because after you see it, you won't see it again. Um, anyway. Uh, I pasted in my GitHub access token, and then when I press enter, it brings up the the menu. It says we have to provide at least one GitHub organization or user. At the end, we'll we'll type in my my name for GitHub. All right, it analyzed that pretty quickly, and it's actually running on the web server localhost colon 9393 and it didn't find anything it has zero findings yet scanned the repositories it found nine and uh, well we want to see what it's like when you find something so I'm gonna exit that clear and um, we'll, we'll put in the username of the developer who coded this, Michael Henriksen, we'll put in his user name there. Okay, cool. It finds it finds some sensitive, some possibly sensitive content from him. Um, and if you're running this on like a bigger uh, t target, like instead of just him or my username but it's like a whole organizations this whole screen could be f the whole terminal window could be full of findings and that's why the local host uh, 9393 is useful so we'll go we'll go there right now and just show what it looks like um, refresh okay cool and uh, instead of printing them in the terminal window it prints the credentials it looks like it found credentials and we'll view the file on github see what that looks like awesome and these are the the passwords it found with the user id and whatnot all right so that's everything for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and also check out my website, hackguru.tech. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And that's all for today. All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.